Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. Now this one is going out by request by someone who didn't really leave a name. And it's a my first one that I'm doing on this channel of a, a cat with a dog friend. Cute little puppy and kitten having a nap together. So I'm just kind of mapping out my shapes. Just making sure I get my my proportions and angles right. It's a good stage for correcting at this time. So I'm working on a graphite or sorry charcoal paper. And right now I'm working with graphite and then I'll switch over to a carbon sketch pencil and a, and some charcoal at the end. There's so many different drawing media. It's it's really up to you to find the one that works for you. We're all different. And I love to hear what your favorite is. I love to hear from you for whatever, especially when you let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing. So if you do have an idea, you can put video idea in capital letters on your comment and that way I can find it quicker. And I'll do my best to get it on here if it's something that I do. And I just like to hear from you about your cat or where you live in the world or whatever. Or how many cats you have. Or if your cat has a dog friend, I guess. Don't want a bunch of details on the dog's nose, just a matter of shading. And the, and the eyes, really, those closed eyes, they're just kind of interesting shaped slits. And there's doggy's paw sticking out. Cat paws are different than dog paws for sure, but they have a lot of similarities. And I just want to keep the simplicity of this drawing. Don't want to overdo it. It's just a gesture drawing, really. Just picking out the important details and, and forgetting about the rest. And still correcting as I go. It's all a learning process. We learn with each drawing and then we carry that learning on to the next. That, the ear on our left hand side, the squished ear, I haven't really got quite right, so I'll end up fixing it later. I've got to change the shape of it. It's a process. Don't ever feel bad if you don't get it right the first time. It does not work that way. And if you always get it right the first time, you probably aren't growing in your art. You're just doing what you know. And so messy drawings really mean learning. I think those doggy toe beans are maybe standing out a bit too much. Thing is with charcoal, it's easy to soften up after. Don't find the shape of the ear now, but still got to fix up those ears a bit. They're standing out too much. Just a suggestion of tabby stripes there on the little kitten. I like to go by suggestions. Impressionistic. There we go. Keep that cute little nose subtle. It doesn't stand out a whole lot, especially on kittens. They're such new, cute, pink little noses. And I am going four times the speed here, and I'm going to speed up pretty soon here to eight times to speed things up. And then I just do my voiceover. That's what works for me. Same idea as you got to find what works for you in your drawing. I found what works for me in my video, and I'm always growing with it along with my drawing. Okay, now we're sped up to eight times the speed and we'll just finish this drawing up. Just very gestural. The thing is, doing gesture drawings like this, you can, you know, what you learn 
um, you can carry forward or you can use a sketch to make a more completed piece of art. You get to decide what direction you take it in. I like the ears better now on the cat. The little kitten. Darken up the bottom of doggy's nose. I don't know if you can hear my cat Shanty in the background, but she's squawking. She wants her supper. She tries to get it earlier and earlier every night, of course. That's coming along. So there it is, finished with the whiskers and stuff. I did this part off camera because I decided it needed more after I finished the video. Thanks for watching.